Hi, I'm Doug Adams from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes. I've got a nothing special audio system in my car that can read audio files on a personal USB thumb drive. So getting my music to play in the car should be as simple as dragging audio files from iTunes to a mounted stick and then plugging it into my car's USB port, right? Well, not exactly. While the audio player is perfectly adequate in many ways, unless the files are prepared just right, it can be really fussy about playlists, fussy about track data, and fussy about file sorting. So I needed a way of getting my music collection onto the thumb drive without all the fussing. This is M3 Unify. It's a pretty simple file managing app with flexible exporting options that will copy and arrange my audio files to a selected folder, for my own personal use, of course. It has optional file renaming, subfolder organization, and even basic audio conversion, and as you might have guessed, it can export M3U playlists. Right now, though, I just want to get some music files onto a thumb drive so that they'll work right with my car's audio player, because it's fussy. So let me show you how to do that with a quick demonstration. After launching M3 Unify, I'm going to drag a playlist of tracks over from iTunes. Or, files can be dragged from the Finder. Once the tracks are loaded, I can sort them by clicking the column headers. This column on the far left is the Play Order column. When the Play Order column is selected, tracks can be arranged by dragging them within the list. I'm just going to go back and resort these by track order. I can also get info and audition tracks. Now, when I click on the Save button, the files of the tracks will be copied to a selected folder. Here I'm going to select the thumb drive I use in my car. Simple enough, right? Except that I could have done that just by dragging tracks from iTunes. So let's check out some of M3 Unify's exporting options. These settings can create subfolders in a variety of depths, named using the information from the tags of the tracks. I'm going to choose to copy the files into artist slash album subfolders. So, when I hit Save, it will create the folders as necessary and copy the files to the album folder. Unfortunately, in this case, the files are sorting by file name, and that's probably how my car's audio player is going to sort them too. My files don't always start with a disk and a track number, so album files aren't being sorted by their track order. Here's what I can do. This time, I'll use the rename exported files using pattern option. Here, I can enter a substitution pattern to rename the copied file using tag information from the track. You can reference the substitution tags here. I want to rename the files so they'll sort by track number, so I'll use track number and name in the new file name pattern. Now, when the files are copied to the chosen folder, each one will be renamed track number space song name and will ultimately sort by track number. This is useful if your music player doesn't read audio file tag data, but instead relies on folder organization and file names. My car audio player can also read M3U playlist files, and M3 Unify can create an M3U playlist file that references the song files I'll be copying. The M3U playlist will be formulated using the current play order of the tracks. I can also use the substitution pattern here to customize the track info that's displayed when the M3U is playing. That's information that the player may actually use in its own display. Just to be safe, you can preview the M3U information and inspect it before saving or copying any files. Okay, when I click Save, I'll choose the thumb drive, make sure to name the M3U file, and then Save. The M3U playlist will be generated, pointing to the files I'll be copying. The files will be copied into the subfolders, named the way I want, and I'm ready to go. Now there's just one more detail you might care about if you're like me and you've got a lot of Apple lossless tracks. My car's player only handles AAC and MP3, and lossless files take up a lot of space on the stick anyway, so I'm going to use the convert option to create smaller AAC copies. These copies will also contain minimal tag and artwork data if it's available. And if you have one of those players that looks for a folder JPEG image in the album folder, this option will export the artwork as a file, one folder.jpg file per album folder. So using M3 Unify, I've got a ton of music sorted by artists and then albums, along with a few favorite playlists, all ready to go for a car ride. M3 Unify, it's not just for making M3U playlists. It gives you lots of options that help you copy and organize your audio files to any folder, volume, or portable media just the way you need. 
Give it a try. I'm Doug from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes, DougScripts.com. Talk to you next time.